Cheers, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Thrash Metal Homebrew. Today we are doing a brew. We're getting it going here. We're not going to stream today. The last uh, few beers that I've done, I've done live stream. So this one I'm just going to put together real quick. Uh, I'm doing a just a real simple IPA using 10 pounds of two row pale malt US and uh, some half a half a pound of Crystal 20, a half a pound of Carapils, and the hop additions are all El Dorado. So yeah, so right now, I'm getting the strike water up. You can see, got my little stickers to remind me I'm doing things, doing the brew day. Sometimes I forget to mash out. Anyway, we are getting strike water up to temperature. Right now it's at 122. Trying to get up to, I'm gonna get it around 165, 170, and then we'll get dode in here shortly. So, thanks for tuning in again, guys. This is great. Um, hang out here with the brew dogs. There's Mandy, she's hanging around. Rocky's uh, up in the house, just waiting to come down. So, yeah, just gonna have a blast today and enjoy the spring weather. Cheers, see you in a bit. All right, so at this point, um, usually I do barge. Let's start that again. <laughs> usually I do batch barging because I found that I got better efficiency. But I'm going to try something a little different. I went ahead and got some CPVC, which is can take the high heats and not leach any crap into your uh, brew, and some stainless on here to hook up. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a fly sparge today just to uh, kind of double check what I've, I may have been making mistakes in the past, but I'm not quite sure. But made a little contraption here so that you can set it down on the grain bed and uh, keep, maintain the, the water level at least an inch over the grain bed when I'm doing stuff. Uh, down below here, here's our hop additions. We got, um, we got half an ounce of El Dorado for the 60 minute. It's a 60 minute boil, 60 minute bittering. And then uh, we have one ounce of El Dorado, and that's gonna go in at 20 minutes left in the boil. And then this last one, we're gonna flame out with two ounces of El Dorado. So all of this is El Dorado. And then uh, later on, after the fermentation is done and we get to secondary, this baby's gonna have three ounces that's gonna go into the secondary. Now in the mash tun, you can see I got my grains and I also have my water salts. Water salts consist of three grams of gypsum and I always forget the other one. Um, but I have uh, three grams of uh, the other one. What the heck is it? I'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> look here, man. I'll uh, put it there. It'll the other stuff that goes in there but anyway we're going to be under letting the mash we get that baby going uh we're going to add about just a little over four gallons i'm doing just a five gallon batch of beer today and we'll under let this i like having a little bit of a thin mash so that all of the all of the water hits all the grain so you get a really good conversion so uh so when i see you next we shall be up to temperature. So see you in a bit, guys. Cheers. All right, so we are pretty much at temperature right now since I'm on a Herm system. Let me get my uh, hot pad here. We got us a coil submerged in the water. We'll be able to get the temperature right where we want to. So let's go ahead and get this baby underleaded and doed in. So I'm gonna put you down for a minute and as soon as I get to a point, I will bring you back on. Cheers. All right, so we underlet and love it when it does that like a volcano. Oops, sorry about the steam. Just going to make sure that uh, everybody's wet, everybody's in the pool. And get her stirred up a bit. Hopefully we don't have a ton of dough balls. 
So in here is, like I said, we have uh, 10 pounds of two row pale malt, US. And we have half a pound of carapils, half pound 20 Levabon crystal caramel. Got our water salts in here. I do not see a dough ball in sight. Uh, that's why I love underletting. So we're gonna get this stirred up. And we'll get recirculation going here in a second. Just make sure you got everything done here. All right, let me get it going here. All right, so we have the recirculation going right now, if you can see. Turn that down a little bit. But if you look out here, this is where we have the thermal probe in here so that the PID is reading from that and it'll control the water temperature in the HLT to keep this at temperature at 152. So right now overshot like what, three degrees here? So 152 is where I need to be at. 155 is uh, where the current temperature is. So that's not bad. As long as you got it in between like 156 and 149, you're doing pretty good. But we're gonna let this go here. I'm gonna keep the lid off for a little bit until this temperature drops a little bit. And then uh, as soon as we get to our 152, we will start our 60 minute timer. So we will mash in at 60 minutes. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start our 60 minute mash in. Beep. See you in a little bit. All right, so we're sitting at 152. Just pulsing away. Boop, 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 boop. Maintaining the temperature within the HLT. And we have 50 minutes left on the mash. And that guy will come available when it comes time to boil. But let's do a little tour here. Right now you can hear the water is recirculating through the hot liquor tank. And you got your submerged Herms coil in there. He's going. Then down below there you see the 1500 watt element that is keeping the temperature. This is a 240 system. And take a look at the mash, see how clear that is. Looking good, it's got a nice copper color to it, just like I was going for with a little bit of Crystal 20 in there. And then we got Whirl Kettle ready to go. So here, on this side over here, we have the Whirlpool port, and then You'll see there's the drip, the drop tube for when uh, you're coming out front, so when you're draining it. And then there's a thermal probe, and there's a 1500 watt element in this guy. So, yep, he draws about, they draw about uh, 26 amps when they're going full power. All right, see you in a little bit, guys. All right, so we've gotten through the mash. We have 60 minute mash, and now we are on to so as soon as we get the temperature up to around 168 170 we will start the timer for 10 minutes and we will let these poor little enzymes that have been working for us for over an hour decompose or not decompose just stop working and then we will start taking this beautiful colored wort transferring into Zabru Cathal. So, as soon as we get up to temperature, I will be right back later. Okay, so I have getting, I have gotten the contraption here, <laughs> getting, got the contraption in here to add the water to it. So now let me get the piping done correctly on the silicone hoses into the brew kettle and let's get this baby fly sparged. All right, my friends, so we have HLT water going and keeping and maintaining at least an inch of water over the mash. 
and at the same time we were trying to pull uh, kind of calibrate the amount of flow coming out of this guy into the, the boil kettle so I'm gonna play with this for a bit I remember how much of a nightmare it was when I did it before but looks like I need more water going in here that baby going and it's all uh, playing with the throttles so it's like riding faders on stage while you're rocking out home brides be right back point where we're gonna get the luscious juiciness from the rest of the mash that's kind of sitting on the side we're straining that into there and then adding to the boil so right now we are coming up to the boil uh, temperature is 183 right now 184 coming up and we will be doing a drop pop here shortly. Cheers. So we're letting the mash drain out and we'll be adding this to the boil. Luscious goodness. Waste not, want not, right? Let's see how we're doing over here. Ooh, we're getting there. Kind of crazy doing freaking five gallons of beer. I'm used to doing ten now. Cheers. See you in a bit, guys. All right. Turn down the power to 60%. Got all the luscious juiciness from here. This is going to go sourly into uh, the dumpster, but we're going to do our 60 minute hop. And there she is. All right. Red and hop spider. Cheers. Woohoo! All right. Get the timer set up. See you in about 45 minutes. Cheers. All right. So here we go. We got the uh, timer going. Next hop drop is in at 20 minutes left in the boil. Here we go. Cheers. Oh. All right. So we're almost there, man. Got the bowl done. Got the brew done. We're draining off in the fermenter. Fermentor. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good brew day, everything went well. I hit my numbers. So I'm at 15 bricks on this one. So we are doing very, very well. Cleanup will happen here shortly and we will get this baby under some yeast or um, put some yeast on top of it. Great, this. That's it, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. Keep rocking, keep doing what you're doing. Never stop. Homebrew it. Cheers. <laughs>